Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV. Uh, we got our new power uh, step down modules in, and I really, I realized today, and I was, I was always curious as to what the difference was step down module versus a uh, converter, an inverter. And so what I found out was, because I've been calling these converters or inverters, and uh, I realize now that that wasn't the right term. So an inverter, uh, I believe a converter goes from AC to DC, and an inverter goes from DC to AC. So neither one. Uh, no matter which one, I think I got that the right way. But even if that's if it's the other way, it doesn't matter. Neither way, uh, no matter what, these are these are actually supposed to be referred to as step down uh, modules and not inverters or blah blah blah. So I'm going to try to get the terminology right. I'm also trying to clean up my desk real quick before I put on camera because crap around here is just getting crazy dirty. Um, all right, I'm just going to dust everything to the floor for now and let Roomba get it later. Okay, so let me show you what we're working on. Right, so we have this one here. Right there, we go. A little dirty, kind of, but we'll deal with it. All right, so uh, that's not it. Um, this is it. It's a JH, JH MCU uh, step, step down module, and this will actually keep it, it'll take up to 36 volts in, and it'll regulate it to 5 volts at 3 amp or 12 volts at 2 amp. If I'm not mistaken, those are exact specs on it. And it all comes down to the following. So this would be good for like, a lot of you have asked me, okay, I'm running the DJI, DJI uh, FPV, the air unit, and you know, we're limited to uh, 4S. And I'm like, okay, great. So if you wanna go 6S, for example, right? And you can go, you can go higher than that with this thing, but you, the, if you wanna go 6S, then um, you would be giving it, uh, uh, you would be wiring this in, and then this will take your 6S and bring it down to like, like a 3S, like, but it's 12 volt, not even 3S, uh, right at 12 volt, right? So four, four volts uh, a cell, I guess, if you're doing a 3S. Um, it will give you the amperage, but keep in mind that um, the regulation, the regulator on this will only kick in as long as you maintain above that voltage. So uh, please understand, and the point I think is made on the website with this is, uh, if you want to regulate to 12 volts, then you have to give it 12 volts to be able to utilize the features on here, which means, um, you know, it, it's not going to maintain 12. If you go to 11 on your battery, it's going to 11. And there are people that literally think that it's still going to go to 12. And I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. So it's not a step up, it's a step down. Okay, so step down, uh, module. Okay, that being said, I figured we'd go ahead and do one of these real quick and just test it. I wanna see how accurate it is. It's a new product that we're carrying and I wanna make sure that it, it's, it's got the quality that we're looking for. And I wanna make sure that it installs pretty easy and I gotta get this damn desk clean. Can't do anything around here. Uh, I also did, uh, under soldering uh, supplies now, you will see the new, these little boxes. Uh, let me see, let me grab one here because I need one right now, actually. Mm -hmm. Where'd it go? Hold on, I'll find it. Here, so these are those, this is that hard re uh, rosin uh, that I've told you guys about that I use when I solder. This is what you put the, um, the uh, soldering tip in. Is this on? Yep, it's on, so watch. Just take a look at this. Okay, so here's the tip right now, and it's still somewhat clean, right? But if I just let it go in there real quickly, all right, take it out, and then I go take it over to my little, uh, that little sponge, a little metal sponge, and boom, I got a nice clean tip there, and uh, ooh, it's hot though. And uh, so I would definitely recommend you guys pick these up. They're cheap but they sure do a great job. And I now have, this is what mine looks like. That's the one I just got done using and that's a new one. So I use it every day and it does an amazing job for soldering, for key, keeping the solder iron clean, all right? Uh, I also have the sponges and everything else. So anything you need soldering wise, guys, please let me supply it to you. I'm giving it at a great price. So I definitely can make sure that you're taken care of and you're getting quality product, okay? All right, so getting back to this here, um, it's labeled on the back what these mean. Let me go ahead and get the, uh, the flux pen. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to do both sides because I'm not really sure which one I want to do right now. Um, okay, so by reading this, what I'm looking at here is here's the output, and uh, it's going to be three amp, uh, two amp for 12 volt, and three amp for five volt. And the input can go from six to 36 volts, so ground, ground, and out. Okay, so input, ground, ground, out. All right, so let's go ahead and tin this up, see what we end up with, right? Here we go. Once upon a time, I'm gonna just heat the board up a little bit because that, that flux pen, I need it to kind of cool out here and, and not be so liquidy. So let's go. One, two, three. And you know, I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it, based on how close I just got with just this one alone, I'm thinking that it's almost best to, t oops, to tin the other side, but I would assume that they would have made this the ground. So I'm hoping I'm right with that because this would be a really big mistake 
So I, now I'm curious to test this, and I need to make sure you see, because right here, it's so close to, that pad's close, and I'm pretty good with soldering on small, small pads. I know, I know I'm good at it, but I just hit that piece, and I'm like, man, if I do that, then I'm wondering, so, okay, so the question is, question is, what is that? That is, that's the positive. So as long as we don't, I'll be very disappointed if that does that. And, and it didn't. Okay, it didn't. So I'm going to assume that we're fine here. This should go off on this side. Whoops, hold on. Let me see. If I can get it to show continuity on this side, then we're okay. These, okay, here. Perfect. Here, okay. Okay, so these are going to be the positive side. So, yeah. Okay, good. So we're okay there. But that was a concern right there. So I guess if I was going to do it again, I would go on this side. I, I, guys, I wouldn't even mess with soldering on this side because it's really close. You're not going to have any space for the wire. So, um, yeah, so keep it here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to finish this by soldering on this side because uh, I, don't, I don't like the way that went at all. So let's just do that one. And I'm just going to run it straight through here. Come on. There we go. Okay, everything looks clean there. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to input this from my AC to DC converter. Uh, Oh, so there you go. I did, I did use that term before. Man, I, I hate that I did that. All right. So uh, I've got the converter right here. And so I'm going to plug it in so I can get my inputs. But for my outputs, I'm just going to go ahead and run two wires and then clip them and make sure that the voltage is right. Okay. And I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So first we're going to test 5 volt because then after you test the 5 volt, to make it go to 12 volt, you have to solder, you have to bridge, the, uh, bridge this uh, piece here. So I'm just going to take these off an old receiver. Oh my God, it's about the same size, isn't it, as the R9? Yeah, it's a 17 by 11, I think, millimeter, so pretty close. Very small. This thing, you can tuck it anywhere. Uh, let me go ahead and just take these. I want to borrow these wires from this R9MM. Okay, so uh, let's see. We've got our output. So we're going to use that. I don't like this one. I need my other one here. Let's get our output positive, and we're going to put that here. Okay. Now let's take our output ground, and we're going to put that... Okay, normally I would sit here and hold everything down properly. I just wanted to do this quickly, but apparently it wants to give me a hard time. So let's, let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and just manhandle this thing. Boom, that all move. Okay. Okay, there's our ground. I mean, for a temporary test, I really didn't think I was gonna have to worry about it too much, but now I gotta worry, make sure I didn't get these together. That's what I get for trying to throw this together very quickly. Oh, but it's still good. Okay, so we're still good there. So now what we want to do is we want to get our uh, inputs. So we're going to take those from the um, uh, from the converter here. And so uh, let me put the blue will be the positive and the yellow will be the ground. Hey babe, on the um, on the standoffs, like when you see Williams on his order, I've now made them singles. They're not ten packs at all for any of them. So you can open all those packs and dump them into a bag if you wanted, but make sure you don't send them as ten packs anymore. Yeah, he's not. It's you counted them out. Count okay, good. So I just I did, I did that last night. I forgot to tell you. Sure. Okay. All right, so we've got our we've got our other side now, which is going to be our input. So now I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to keep this for our um, meter, okay? I'm just gonna try to, man, I wish they had like these cool ones where, well, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try to just kind of get this. To, um, that's not gonna happen here, guys, so stop the barking. All right, so I'm going to put that one in there, and I will put the, uh, do the same thing with the ground here. What she wants? She's trying to get your attention? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, hey, if you don't look at me, I'm going to bark. Better, baby. Oh, does she have it? Oh. What's up? All right, let's put this one here. We'll wrap it around just to try to get it to stay in place. 
slip this over it. Hopefully that'll allow us to get a good uh, reading. Okay, and then for our input, uh, I have these. So this is gonna be alligator teeth, or alligator clips, I guess is what you call them. All right, and I'm gonna strip these down here. And remember our yellow is our ground and our blue is our positive. Okay, I know this is kind of funny looking, but it's gonna make sense here in just a minute. Just hang in there long enough to get me to stop screwing this up here. Okay, so on these, I'm gonna go ahead and just put blue and the positive here, and then I'm just gonna put yellow in the ground here. say that but I can't get a grip on it right now yet. Oh here, you know what? Let me fold it over. This might just do it just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to get the power supply here. And I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so I do have a light now. You can see it on here. You can see that red light right there. Oh I think you can. Right there. Alright so trust me when I say it's on because I'm not gonna have it sitting up like that. I don't like that because I want to see the wires. So let me flip it back down here real quick. Alright try to keep this somewhat organized okay so uh, let's see what we are looking for now how oh, could I do to have done that let me go ahead and turn this off because I'm still sitting on continuity here so I want to turn that off before I there we go okay so I've got it turned on now and now I want to see where I'm at Okay, I'm giving it like 12.5 volts right now. Okay. I was hoping this plan would work, but I'm trying to think, oh, you know what, let me go to, there we go. I guess it's better like that. Okay, so what we've got right now is 5.07 volts coming out on a 12 volt. So now I'm gonna crank it up and take it, I'm at 14, 17, 15, sorry, 17 now, 18, 19. Okay, I'm at 19 volts on my converter here and uh, and uh, it looks good. So to give you an idea of where I'm at, I'll just, I'll just give you a voltage reading here. So if I, I don't want these to touch obviously, so let me just, See how it, it'll read to you here, if I can get this to stay still. All right, I'm at 19.24, okay? And the output right now is showing 5.07, okay? So that's good. Now, let's say we wanna turn this into a 12 volt, right? So here's what we're gonna do. First, let's get this off, and please be much more careful than I am being right now. Obviously, you do as I say, not as I do kind of thing here. My bad. Okay, so we have this little bridge. It's really, really, really tiny bridge right here. I mean, it's super small, okay? Um, let me see if I can... I'll try to zoom in, but I don't think it's going to help any. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you can see it. So right here, right here are these two pads, and you can see that there's a, there's a split between them. You're going to close that up, right? So once I close that up, this is now going to put out 12 volts. Okay, that should do it right there, all right? So now let's test it. I'm still gonna be putting out 19 volts, and I'm gonna try to do this a little safer now. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna fold this back and fold this back here. Uh, sorry, black is gonna be, uh, ground is gonna be yellow in this case, so let me just put that there. Let me go ahead and put the positive here. Okay. And then as far as what we're outputting, I will go ahead and wrap this wire around and hopefully get it to stay. And then I will wrap this one around and hopefully get it to stay. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, now we have 12, oops, let me zoom out, sorry. 
So what we're showing is 12.11 volts coming out now, and we have uh, about 19, I'm gonna give it to, there's 20, there's 21, 22, 23, 24 volts going in, and we're staying at 12.11. Now, let me explain to you what I was talking about earlier, which is pretty obvious, but if you see that I'm gonna dip below, now it's gonna dip below also, okay? So you're not gonna keep putting out 12 volts. You've got to keep going here, okay? So now I'm at 14, it's putting out 12.1. So I'm fine with that little, uh, I, it could very well be that I need to calibrate here. But in either case, there you go, guys, okay? So this is a great option, and this will definitely help you um, uh, when you're doing something like uh, needing a step down to go from uh, a maximum down to, to, keep, uh, to maintain your power, right? Especially like, it, like in a DJI. Uh, air unit. Okay, so that's it. It's the JHE MCU. Uh, you'll see this under, I guess I'm going to put it under batteries, under the battery section of our website. There's going to be something called step downs. And if you just click there, you're going to see the multiple ones that we have. And I'll be bringing more in. Okay. If you have any questions, guys, please, uh, as always, head over to our website, use the contact form. And then uh, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that way you can help support us. Other than that, that's it. Have a great night. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy flying. Enjoy time with your family, guys. Peace.